hi guys welcome back to my channel I am TK beauty and today I'm coming to you guys with my June favorites I have a few products that I have been loving for the month of June and I wanted to share them with you guys so let's just jump right on into the video I don't really have a whole lot of products but I think I have enough so again let's just jump right on into the video the first product that I want to talk to you guys about it is the ColourPop no filter foundation I am in the shade deep dark 185 this is how the foundation looks this foundation was $12 I'm telling you guys do not sleep on ColourPop uh, because they have some amazing products but again this foundation was $12 it is a matte and the website said is it is a full coverage foundation to me it is not a full coverage foundation to me it's more like a medium coverage and it's not really a matte foundation either because I'm dry and it kind of leaves me with some dewiness or a little natural glow so to speak but I really do like this foundation for twelve dollars you really cannot beat this this is definitely gonna be a repurchase for me I love this I mean it just gives me a natural finish to the skin I love when my when my foundation gives me that skin like finish I love it it's very light very breathable so I love this and it's a uh, it has a liquidy or watery consistency to it, but this is a very nice foundation for $12. Don't sleep on ColourPop. Love this. The next thing that I have picked up that I have been loving, it is what I am wearing on my eyes today, and that is the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette. I love this. When I saw the packaging on this, I was like, I have to have that because I love to travel, and this just screams, you know, traveling, you know, the weekender. So I love the packaging on here, but I also love the colors in here. Absolutely gorgeous. These are very pigmented, very vibrant eyeshadows. You know, they blend out very, very well. So I really am loving this palette. Again, just like with the ColourPop foundation, this is a late product that I got towards the end of June. But I'm so glad that I picked this up and I picked up that foundation because I have been loving them. Can't put this down. So love this. The next product that I have been loving, it is by Yes, and this is the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Wipes, and this is how the packaging looks. These are the cucumber ones, and I have really been loving these. I got, I picked mine up at Target, and I mean, they definitely, you can definitely smell the cucumber in there, but it definitely takes your makeup off, which I really like. It's very gentle on the skin, and it's good at taking the makeup off, so I have been loving these. So I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more of these, so yeah. If you guys have tried these, comment down below and let me know how you like these the next product that I have been loving of course my favorites videos would not be a favorite without a highlighter so this is the Becca chocolate Gilled highlighter and this is how the product look it is actually what I'm wearing on my face today which I love I love 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 this now I gotta be honest I did not love this when I initially picked this product up I was just like uh, I mean it's okay but then I put it down and I came back to it and I've just been loving this highlighter I'm so glad that I picked it up and that I did not return this to the store again this is how it looks it's absolutely gorgeous for dark skin tones I mean it's just it's beautiful it's like your your face has been so kissed and that I, I love that so I've been loving this the next product that I have been loving it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, powder bronzer in a mahogany and this is the packaging on it let me open it here will be ooh wee, I've been using this I'm trying not to get myself dirty here but this is how it looks again this was one of those products I was skeptical about I did pick this up and mention this in my Sephora VIB haul if you guys have not seen that video I will link it in the card so you can check that video out but this is absolutely gorgeous it just gives you just enough warmth to the skin and the reason why I was skeptical about picking this product up is because when I swatched it it was just like my skin tone but when I actually applied it to my skin I mean it just gave me that nice warmth 
to the skin it was just it's not overpowering at all and I really like that about this so I'm definitely glad that I did pick this up so I've been loving this and then the next product I have it is by Emberlease and this is kind of like an old product I was looking at some makeup tutorials on YouTube and I ran across this product this is the lot cream concentrate if I'm even pronouncing that correctly and this is actually a moisturizer and this is it says it's good for all skin types but the makeup tutorials that I watch it was people who were mainly who mainly had dry skin so I've been using this because again I have dry skin and I'm always looking for something that's gonna bring me more moisture more hydration I need it so this product is amazing I love it I typically what I like to do is I always once I cleanse my face and tone then I will go in with some hydrocortisone cream and I will put that on my face because I do suffer from eczema and so sometimes if I'm even breaking out around my face I would just take the hydrocortisone cream and rub it in first on my face and then I'll go in with whatever moisturizer but this is the one that I've been using lately and I absolutely love this I mean it's really I mean it's kind of thick well it's more like a lotion if you guys can see that so it's not super thick, but it is like a lotion, but it is very, very hydrating, very moisturizing to the skin. So I love this. And sometimes I'll even mix uh, this with a little bit of my Bobbi Brown. I want to say, what is it? The face base I think that's what it's called and I mean it just gives me a nice amount of moisture to my skin so I have been loving this if you guys have used this comment down below and let me know how you have liked this product especially if you are dry or even if you are like oily or combo let me know if you like this product and then the very last product is something that I'm also wearing and that is the Urban Decay lipstick in 1993 it is right here I have been loving this lipstick oh I love this this is like the perfect everyday nude shade and I don't know where I've been because I do believe this lipstick has been out for a while but I, I don't know where I've been but I'm so glad that I got this lipstick because I love it it's just something that I just been gravitating towards every day and I've been pairing it with the Makeup Shayla by ColourPop um, collection and this is in Neat Freak and I love this so that's what I have on top so both of these are my favorite I'm you know this one is just this is just so bomb but this is my combo that I like to you know wear together so just been loving these two together so I'm definitely glad I picked up that lipstick so so yeah so um that is all of the products that i have to mention to you guys i told you it was not a whole lot of products but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below and let me know what are some of the things that you have been loving for the month of june i would love to hear what you guys have been loving what you guys have been using reading whatever journaling just let me know down in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget guys to like comment and subscribe also hit that notification bell so that you'll know every time i'm going to upload a new video again i hope you guys enjoyed this video have an amazing week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye